For this image I will try adding a little bit of sun and its light falling on the landscape using double exposure trick. First I will try to correct the brightness on the part of the sky where the light is more. So I will go to the selective filter here and place it, place it on the bright part and decrease the brightness. I will try to match it with the other part of the sky, the remaining part of the sky so that it looks more natural. So it looks better now. And I will apply this. Next I will go to the double exposure tool. Here I will select one of my images which has sunrise in it. So this is the image I have added from double exposure. You could also download any stock images from sites like pixels.com or unsplash.com where you can download free sunrise or sunset images which may look similar to this. So I will just try applying a blend mode which would look fine on this image so uh, maybe I'll go with the overlay and move the sun somewhere here move the part of the image where the sun is. I'll place it here maybe here with opacity at about 50 and apply it now I'll go to the masking that is tap the stacks icon on the top, view edits, double exposure and brush tool. Here with the effect applied at 100% I will just and the brush transparency at 0. I'll remove the effect other than the part where it is needed and you can see the mask here where right now the effect is applied around around the part where it is not needed I'm okay with this effect and I'll apply this. Now I will apply again the same image using double exposure. This time I will place it somewhere around the fields here. And here I am trying to add more light to the field so I will be placing it somewhere here and with overlay I will apply this. Now again I will go to the masking, stacks brush, view edits, the stacks icon view edits and double exposure and the brush. And here I will remove the masking. for this double exposure so you can see the light extending a bit now from the direction of the sun so here is the before and after the new double exposure layer now I will apply this. Now to make the image a little more dramatic I will apply the vignette filter. Go to vignette and I will place this on the part of the sun. Around the sun. And I will decrease the auto brightness a bit. 
and again I'll go to the masking of the vignette filter with the effect applied and the brush transparency at zero I will just remove the effect a little around the part of the foreground feels a lot more dramatic if you want more orange tint to the light you can always go to white balance and apply increase that tint red tint and apply it and you can apply it only on the part of the light by going to masking and tuning it, brushing it where it is needed. This is the before and is after. Thanks for watching.